I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will summarize our learnings about direct and partial variations. Whenever we talk about direct and partial variation, remember we are talking about linear relation, right? So that is a must. It has to be a linear relation. Right. Now we will see how and when a linear equation becomes a direct variation and when is it partial variation. So let's make two columns for these, right? So we'll consider direct and partial variation. Direct variation and partial variation. We'll compare them. One way is to investigate their graph, right? So that is kind of very simple way. If you have a graph, you can figure out whether it is direct or partial. In case of a graph for a direct variation, you will get a straight line which will go through the origin, right? So you'll have a straight line which will always go through the origin. Right? So that kind of a relation will be a direct variation. Whereas for a partial variation, the straight line will be not going through the origin, right? So it could be from here or somewhere else. So that is partial, right? So that is how you can figure out if the given graph represents a direct variation or not. You could also find whether given equation represents direct variation or not. Equation of the form, let us say if on this side we have independent variable x and y is dependent as normally we take, right? So if the equation is y equals to, let us say, ax plus b, then it is partial, right? So let me, I should have written here y equals to ax plus b, right? But if the equation is with b equals to 0, that means if the equation is only y equals to ax, then it becomes a direct variation. But if it is ax plus b, where b is not equal to 0, but something else. In that case, it becomes a partial variation, right? So that is another way of checking whether a variation is there or not. And lastly, we could also check with the help of y-intercept. Now, y-intercept is a point where the graph will cut across y-axis, right? So at y-intercept, we know x is 0. So at this point, x is equals to 0. And if you get y also equals to 0, then it becomes direct variation. But if x is equals to 0, but y is not equal to 0, then it means it is a partial variation, not direct variation. Or you could also check the value from table of values, right? So from table of values, you could check for the coordinate points. If you have 0, 0 in the table of values, then it is direct variation. But if you have 0 and some other number where b is not equal to 0, in that case, it becomes a partial variation, right? I hope this video gives you a summary of how to distinguish between direct and partial variation. Right? Remember, Whenever we are talking about direct or partial variation, it is in context to linear relation. And therefore, this particular relation, let me now write down or show you. If I have a graph which is going through origin, but it's kind of like this, right? Will that be a direct variation? It goes through origin. Even then, it is not direct variation, right? It is not direct variation. What is the reason for that? The reason is that it is not linear. Therefore, it is not a representative of direct variation since it is non-linear, right? So non-linear. So in case of non-linear graphs, we do not have direct or partial variation terms, correct? So reserve these terms only for linear relations 
check whether the graph goes through origin or not. If it does, then it is direct variation. Otherwise, it is a partial variation. So now we'll have few questions to test this knowledge. Thank you and all the best.